Hey babies, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today is the last day of 2023 and we're gonna be doing some question and answer. So this question and answer is actually inspired by Billie Eilish. Almost all the questions are from Billie Eilish interview video which she always do it annually and I'm doing this video as for myself. So you know every year I'm answering question and I can track myself what is going on with my life right now and for the future. This video is really almost copycat of all her questions but of course the answer is my own answer. But I just want to do this because I used to watch Billie Eilish. I think I watched her first video and then you know it was just so cool that I get to watch her yearly annual interview and it was just like so nice how every year she changes by her happiness, sadness, depression, stressful or like her enjoyment and every year there's like a sad year that I can tell that she's sad and I think this is 2023 was the year where she was like so happy and she's very confident answering all those questions and she feels so grown already. I've been listening to Billie Eilish since then and then I honestly want to do this video. It's really for myself and of course for you guys, maybe you guys want to try it and do it to your YouTube video but I did mix up some of the questions I question it for myself because some of the question is like about her songs or about her writing music which I'm not in that industry and she's doing music industry while I'm doing YouTube industry so I kind of like twitch or switch the questions for like a YouTube question so this year we're gonna be doing this this is for my 2023 and then I'm gonna be answering the questions right now so without further ado let's get started my name is Sophia Seferati Today, it's December 31st, 2023. I'm 24. I have 236 YouTube subscribers today. My most liked YouTube video is the one in hiking in Guatemala of like hiking the Volcan de Acatenango. And I have 75 likes. Currently, right now, I have 2,100... 2,105. So I joined Miss New York and I believe some of those girls are the most followed um, person in my followers. So I know her name was Ashley. Oh, one of them is Ashley and one of them is Rosanna. The most amount of views I got is my first video which is the Miss New York 2023 preparation. Pre -pre -pre preparation. Yep, I got 2K views. <laughs> My most viewed shorts on YouTube is the video here, which is you visited Guatemala and found the perfect mango. So I was just like biting the mango and eating it because you know, your girl love mango and I found it in Guatemala. And the view is 8.6K views. Always live today like it's your last day. Yeah. Always live today like it's your last day. It's because life is too short and life is very unpredictable. So I feel like every time I wake up in the morning, I'm gonna do everything. I'm gonna say, hey, I love you, mom. Hey, good morning, mom. Hey, this, hey, that. Or just do things based on the thing that I really want to do is like I never wait I just do it is because you never know how life ends and when will life ends I know it is kind of sound negative but I feel like the more I'm aware about my surrounding and my life I feel like I do more compared to be like eh I know it tomorrow yeah let me do this like later so I always do it now so I always live my today like it's my last day Hmm, my three fears is not able to see my grandma because, you know, she's getting old and I want to go back home to see her and it will, this is really making me scared if I won't even see her because there was no chance for me to go home. Second fear is not able to do things that I want to do so you know because of procrastination and that's actually my fear 
Hmm. And the third one is ghost. <laughs> I'm so scared of the ghost since I was a kid until now. And yeah, ghost. I think that would be my fear every time, every year, which is the ghost. Um, my biggest dream is for me to reach at least hmm, 100 subscribers on YouTube. Yeah, I think that's my biggest dream on the YouTube channel. And my biggest dream for myself is hopefully my business will be successful the way I want it to be and to create more valuable things in my business. There's a lot of things I've been planning to do it. So yeah, not that often actually. Um, I talk to my mom. My brother sometime but that's it not to anybody else I'm kind of like not talking too much to the people it's not because I don't want to it's because they don't want me to talk to them they just like don't see me as a person they see me as something else so yeah I talk to my mom and my brother I think that's fine uh, my favorite movie is Clueless. I forgot the character's name, but I just watched that this year and that's like one of my favorite. I don't know why, but I think that's my most favorite movie. I think it's just like so funny and cute and memorable. It's nice. I'm living right now in New York City and this is a four bedroom apartment and I'm living with roommates. Hopefully, I'm living by myself in a couple of years. Nope, I don't feel pressure in life. I think I'm okay. No, I don't have a boyfriend. I don't think I have time for that. Um, yeah, I think I'm okay by myself. I'm actually happy that I'm by myself. This is like my first time not wanting to beg or not even talking to anybody. Cool. Yeah, I don't have. Um, my biggest regret is not able to go home to my country this year. I hopefully I did. The ticket was cheap this year. Could have spent time with my grandma. But it's fine because I was trying to build my mom here and settle her down. But yeah, that's my biggest regret. I always think about like, damn, I wish I just bought that ticket to the Philippines. Yeah. Do I look happy? I am. I am happy. Yes, I am happy. Mm, I think it's for this year. What What is the biggest thing I learned for 2023? Um, I think the biggest lesson I learned for this year is go for it, do it, and just keep doing it. It's like Nike, just do it. Um, there are a lot of things that I done or did without even thinking, and I am proud of those things that I did eventually afterwards, you know, after I did it. So yeah, just do it. It actually feels good after you reward yourself. I told you, you can just do anything you want. It's just like as long as you don't hurt people or kill anybody. So yeah, just do it. I booked flights. <laughs> the craziest thing I did is I booked flights without even having a plan. Like I just keep booking flights left and right like every month without even knowing what to do there or where to go there and I just like I did visit a lot of countries that I don't even know what I'm doing they're like I just there existing and then book a hostel and be like what am I gonna do here so I start looking on TikTok and yeah I think those are the craziest things <laughs> I just keep booking I keep booking places that I don't even know what to do in there and I'm by myself so it's just like so funny I'm be like yeah I'm existing in Guatemala yeah I'm existing in Italy I mean yeah I mean I go all the way to America so it's kind of like not that crazy but I think it's very crazy when I'm just like thinking about it I think it's talking about the YouTube channel again my dream person to collaborate with on my YouTube is Brett Manrock I feel like he's like the most authentic YouTuber and he's also I think half Filipino, pure Filipino. So I think it's just like very legit and 
I just like wanna be surrounded by people who's like very authentic and he's leaving in like a dream of my life when I was a kid. Like I wanna be in a mountain with animals, with her parents, I mean with his parents. Yeah, I wanna collaborate with him. I think he's really doing good. Especially he have a lot of chickens. Those are so nice. Yeah, hopefully I can collaborate with him. I do. I do want to collaborate with him. Yeah, that would be so cool. Um, I would love to visit Nicaragua. And... Oh, El Salvador is a surfing country. I like that as well. And maybe I would like to see Greece, you know, maybe those top three, Greece, Nicaragua, and El Salvador. So my favorite YouTuber is my Pam and your mom, Ashley. So they're both living in New York City and actually living in a very nice apartment or penthouse here in New York City. And they're kind of like one of my inspiration right now as well. Because I want to achieve one of their goals is switch to live in New York City and I just like I just like become a New Yorker now and want to live in New York City before I used to be like I want to live in Long Island to have a big house and this and that but now it's just like so nice to have like a big window apartment and living New York City life waking up in the morning getting some coffee doing some run and this and that and this and that and this yeah so those two youtubers yellow I love yellow. I love yellow. I love the sunrise of yellow and I love sunflowers of yellow. I love yellow. Yeah, yellow. I am Barbie. Yeah, this year is a Barbie year. So everybody is pink. We're always doing pink team. Cause you know your girl love Barbie. Barbie and the dinosaur. Nah, that's Barney. <laughs> that's Barney. Hmm. Right now, I'm not in that level where I'm like collaborating or meeting with other people. But I feel like YouTube industry is like very intense industry, especially when you're in America, because people expect so much, which I'm not really bothered about that. But I can just like tell that that will really be an issue to me for in the future that it's gonna be very hard because people are gonna expect you to do things that they want. But right now, I'm okay with what's going on on my YouTube industry because I'm, I'm below 1,000 subscribers so nobody can really know who I am yet and nobody gonna judge me right now. Maybe in the future, yeah, but right now, I'm good. <laughs> Hmm, I just found out a new song like it wasn't actually new. They told me it was a long time ago It's called disgusted and that song is just like so funny To me because I feel like it makes sense. I don't even know how to sing it um, Thank God, uh, I don't know. I don't know Let me look cuz this is like so nice disgusted I'm so disgusted with you. I can't believe I let you in. I told you all my deepest secrets. <laughs> Thank God you do what you do. I cannot put the whole song here because they're gonna copyright me. But yeah, that was my favorite song for this year. <laughs> Disgusted. <laughs> yup, we're gonna be having a lot of YouTube, especially I always upload every Friday. So, you guys, please hit that notification bell because I'm gonna be uploading every Friday 4 a.m. EST or 5 a.m. EST because you know there's a sunlight. I don't know even. Oh, daylight saving. So, daylight saving is 4 a.m. and then when it's not, it's 5 a.m. EST. <laughs> Did you make it? Did we? Did we make it? How was it? How was your 2024? Yes, I'm so excited to know and it's not even... I'm not even gonna tell you anything but I'm gonna ask you a question. Did we make it? And if yes, congratulations, I love you. 
And if not, Sophia, you got this. Another year, another success that will happen. Aja, 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 aja. Yes, that's me for next year. And if you're sad, Sophia, you were happy last year. You got this, okay? Just rewatch this video. <laughs> I don't know, I'm so excited for this 2024 that is coming and I am happy that I did this Q&A because I will be answering this question again next year and this will be my annual interview for myself it's the same question every time so I wanna see if I did go or I just stayed or I become depressed or whatever but hopefully this video will give me inspiration to keep going because I am determined that I'll be something in the future so I will be creating this video every year until I cannot create this video anymore because it is so nice to have a video of you yearly answering a question from last year so that's all for tonight and next year again I'll see you, Sophia Marie Seferadi. Signing out! And if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share my video to spread happiness in the world. Bye, BBs. I love you so much, and thank you for watching my interview. Bye! Mwah.